On July 7, 2014, 40 kids embarked on an adventure that would forever change the way they viewed their community's natural resources. Thanks to the Fisheries Division of the Ministry of Agriculture, Lands, Forestry, Fisheries and the Environment, and the Caribbean Aquaterrestrial Solutions, the MPA Summer Camp was launched. Participating students were treated to three weeks of educational fun in and around the Molinaire Boucheju Marine Protected Area. Snorkeling, bird watching, ranger boat rides, informational field trips, various trivia competitions, and craft making were some of the many activities the kids enjoyed at camp. We used local uh, lecturers um, that were selected by our team. The objective was to try to build support for the modern and protected area in terms of you know what we do and why we do it. Zones, why we don't allow fishing, why we want the fish to grow big. Those sort of topics uh, guided the topics for the summer camp. Dynamic learning structures that mix theory and hands-on activities kept students alert and excited throughout this unique experience. Now, Eco's mission is to promote awareness of the importance of maintaining, protecting, and conserving our natural ecosystems. Number 14. The layout of the camp, they'll have breakfast in the morning time at 8 and they'll have a lecture session. Later on they'll have their break and then you have an activity geared towards what they would have learned. Oh. And I think it reinforces whatever they're yes. learning as well. With the coral reefs, the morning they learned about the corals, in the afternoon they started building their coral reefs. So one of, one of the key activities was building a coral reef in the system, you know, where the, the hands-on things of so building reef. We are trying to get them to understand how the reef system works and the, the importance of everything on the reef, the parafish as a grazer, the sea urchins, the reef itself, the algae, or what the algae does to the corals. So that activity I think was a key activity for the kids and to understand um, the, the importance of reef and why we have to protect uh, coral reef. And um, in the Molinier area, I mean, that's the key uh, ecosystem that we are protecting that is for reef. The camp wasn't just fun for the kids, the adult volunteers enjoyed the experience as well. A little bit of a program and the topics that we are doing are very interesting to have a whole summer camp in the summer and like that. I think my fondest moment was the uh, arts and crafts. One day we had to create face masks and we had to read them with I enjoyed it because One of the activities the kids enjoyed most at camp was snorkeling. They saw the marine life firsthand and learned about the need to protect this environment all while having fun. Apart from being highly educational for the students, the Fisheries Division hopes that the MPA Summer Camp would build community awareness and appreciation for marine life and coastal ecosystems. It was informative, it was fun. Like, taking in all the information and you get to understand more things, how it is important to us, how it helps us. So, we know truly it was very helpful to all of us. I think I would be the manager of a wildlife sector. Word of the MPA summer camp spread across the nation. Camp participants were invited to appear on a national TV program, Spice Morning. The camp was also visited by Prime Minister Dr. the Right Honorable Keith Mitchell, and members of the community came out in their numbers to its closing ceremony. The MPA summer camp was really important for us in, as a pilot program. We had the, the kind of interest that we saw with the kids and the volunteers and so on. Even the Prime Minister who visited the camp said he was really impressed with what we were doing and the, 
the comments he was getting from the parents or so. So I think we achieved our objectives in staging that camp and we like to thank the Caribbean Aqua Terrestrial Solution Program for supporting this MPA summer camp. We would like to thank some of the other co-sponsors, uh, the Ekman program uh, for their support and we look forward in holding a uh, camp like this again next year and to replicate it in, in